Game Fiend, Fiend of All Games here, and I'm back giving you another drum script of Saturday. And on this drum script of Saturday, I'm going to give a rundown of both shows and kind of compare them side by side to prove that why SmackDown, as of now, is the better show. So I'm going to work my way down from the Divas all the way up to, to the main event feuds. So let's go with Raw. Right now the current situation with the Divas is Charlotte, Bailey, and Sasha Banks. Which in two weeks ago they reviewed the footage and it seems like it was a double pin. So they're going to have yet another triple threat match for this WWE Raw's women's title. So we have a triple threat match at WrestleMania and had a two singles matches and now another triple threat match. Hopefully it's going to wind up with Sasha Banks or Bayley winning. I highly doubt that Charlotte will get the title back. She only got the title back because Sasha Banks had a back injury, which turned out not to be too serious. I also see Dana Brooke breaking away from Charlotte because there's only so much, storyline-wise, there's only so much person, so much that a person could take for all the bullying that Charlotte's been giving Dana Brooke. So, I it would be good if Dana Brooke kind of turns her back on Charlotte in the pay-per-view Clash of Champions, which is this Sunday. And like I said, my prediction for that match, I'm either going to say Shasha or Bailey. Bailey wins. But this is a good time for Dana Brooke to turn her back on Charlotte since triple threat matches don't have any rules. On to the SmackDown side of things, it's just been a consistent build of Becky Lynch versus Alyssa Bliss. And they signed their contract for the SmackDown's women's title. That is at No Mercy, which is two weeks after Class of Champions. So it's just a single 1v1 build. As you can see, the SmackDown one is less complex because it only involves two people, and neither of them have a manager. So two people where the Raw has three plus Daniel Brooks, so four. And it has a SmackDown has a consistent build. On to the tag team scene. Which, on Raw, it's all over the place. And SmackDown, it's now gotten to the Usos versus Heath Slater and Rhino. On Raw, it's that segment with Jericho doing the listing, then all the tag teams came out. That was a horrible segment. It was everywhere. I, 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 don't, even, I don't even know what, what the match is on on Class of Champions. I think it's just uh, Anderson and Gallows versus New Day versus New Day. But if you look at that segment, it feels like it's Anderson and Gallows versus Enzo and Kaz versus New Day. So I don't think it's a triple threat match, but I could check right now. But it was just all over the place. Like it was, okay, Jericho stating what he doesn't like. And then, what? T I, I, yeah. Then Enzo and Cass come out. Then Anderson and Gallows comes out. And then New Day comes out. And then Chris Jericho leaves. And then Sami Zayn comes out. Just all over the place. Where on SmackDown, you for the number one contendership, you had American Alpha go against the Usos, which was a great match. I recommend if you guys didn't see SmackDown, you go watch that tag match. Which is a great match, and you have the heels win clean. The Usos wins, and then now they're the number one contenders for the SmackDown title. I mean, it's 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 better it's better booking in my opinion. But yeah, then we go to the Raw Cruiserweight thing. And let me get started on that. Uh, biggest disappointment, T TJP was not on Raw. He was on the pre-show, not on the actual show. 
which doesn't make sense to me. So what Mick Foley does is he brings out Rick Swan, Grand, Grand Metallic, Cedric Alexander, and the Brian Kendrick. And then he says, yeah, you're on a fatal four-way and the winner faces TJP at Clash of Champions for the title. So we don't see the title. We don't see CJP. He's not even at the announcer's table to do commentary for. We don't see him at all. And this was the debut for Cruiserweights at, on Raw. So how do you have the, cru the debut for Cruiserweights at Raw and don't have the champion? And then you have him defend the title six days later. They didn't like that. Perkins faces the Brian Kendrick because Brian Kendrick made, I think he made Cedric tap out. So, yeah, that's 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 that. Uh, you have Sheamus versus Cesaro, best of seven. I'm going to say Cesaro wins, comes back for Clash of Champions. We have that. And the main, now we're getting to the main event scene on both shows where you have Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins. And the main focus on that storyline is still whether Stephanie McMahon had any involvement with Triple H getting involved in the triple threat match, which happened a month ago. Instead of Triple H coming out to the ring himself explaining why he gave oh, Kevin Owens the title on his silver platter. No, the storyline is more based on the Stephanie McMahon know or have anything to do about it, which I find is retarded. Whereas on SmackDown, Dean Ambrose defeated John Cena on last this past SmackDown and then he's gonna Dean Ambrose is gonna get his one on one rematch on this upcoming SmackDown against AJ Styles. But I see it going to a triple threat match for no mercy. But Dean Ambrose will get his one on one rematch this upcoming uh uh Tuesday for SmackDown. Simple build, quality build, nothing whether the storyline for Raw is to see if Stephanie McMahon had anything to do with it. Doesn't make sense to me at all. And mind you, Raw always has two squash matches. They have the Braun Strowman match. And I don't think Nia Jax had a... Nope. Nia Jax didn't have a squash match this week. It was just another Braun Strowman squash match. But yeah, Raw, Raw has 28 to 30 riders. Seems to be all over the place. I don't know how many people write SmackDown, and let's not forget that um, the main event, Roman Reigns defeated Kevin Owens in a steel cage match, is pointless, and you're going to have Kevin Owens going to the pay-per-view with a loss, doesn't make sense, and Roman Reigns versus Rusev for the US title, which I have Roman winning, and that's, that's that. Raw is just all over the place where SmackDown seems to be more consistent. So, yeah, for Class of Champions, I'm just interested in Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens and the uh, Divas Triple Threats. Everything else to me is just going to be a bonus. So, yeah, but that's going to wrap this up for this week's Drama Script Saturday. Uh, if you have liked what you have witnessed, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and leave a comment below. And I'm Game Fee for the World Games, and I'm signing out. Later, and...